I haven't done these in some time. Stupid things that people say that I kind of notice here and there. And one of those things, it's not exactly a whole saying, but it's these people who ask the question, am I the only one? It could be like, am I the only one that doesn't like Game of Thrones. There's over seven and a half billion people on the face of this planet. Let me assure you, you're not the only one. It seems like they do this in like some sort of attempt to appear to be unique. Like they are the only one for whatever it is that they are asking. You're not. With seven and a half billion, over seven and a half billion people on this planet, you're not the only one to anything. You'd probably have to do some really, really like high level crazy shit to be the only one for anything. If a person asks, am I the only one who's ever decapitated a cow and then fucked it in the ass? The answer is, you're probably not, because I'm sure that's happened many times throughout history and currently. Even if you were the only person who did not like Game of Thrones or whatever other popular thing there is out there, it wouldn't make you special and it wouldn't make you unique. Not liking popular things does not add to your character. It doesn't say anything about you other than you don't like that popular thing. Not liking popular things does not make you interesting. Not even a little bit. So the next time you, if you're that type of person to ask, am I the only one? Stop and think for a moment of just how many people there are on this planet and think about the chances of you being the only one. <laughs> These am I the only one people are the same people who typically do the only in thing. I'll give you an example. Suppose, um, let's call her Jane. Jane lives in Balsack, Arkansas. And Jane one day is walking down the street and she sees a homeless guy take a hit off of a crack pipe and then proceed to have sexual intercourse with a garbage can. So Jane, being kind of brilliant, takes out her phone, snaps a picture or takes a video and she posts it on social media and she says, only in Ballsack, Arkansas, no, Jane, that's not the only place that that happens. In fact, that happens everywhere. And for all those people that do the only in thing, you're just as bad as the am I the only one people. The place you live is not unique or special and it doesn't add to your character when you try to portray it as someplace special or unique that has these things going on that happen everywhere. Think of how big the earth that's not flat is and just how many people are on it. What you just witnessed is not unique. No matter what it is, the chances of you witnessing something truly unique are very slim. Even more slim than you being the only one. Because I'm sure there are some people that uh, do some crazy shit that it truly is unique, but you know what? They're not going on social media and sharing it because chances are it's extremely illegal. It's like Ted Bundy. If he was still alive, him going on Twitter and saying, am I the only one who's killed 30 plus women? Well, the answer to that would be no. You see, Ted Bundy gave his hobby some real gusto. And even that isn't enough to make him unique. So you not liking Game of Thrones or Apple products or Android or whatever, you're not the only one and it doesn't make you unique even if you were. So stop that, please. You're making yourself look like a complete idiot. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm.